Dead Man Mode is back and it is crazier than ever. With new sigils and weapons, as well as insane breaches in the overworld, things are going to heat up. Every year for Dead Man Mode, there's a few select absolute losers who try and max their accounts during the tournament. Last time, I was one of those losers. Except, I came second. This time, I'm going to be first to max, but there's a twist. I don't have anyone giving me GP. I'm not going to be swapping it in. I'm playing 10 accounts to fund myself. Welcome to Alt Man Mode. Here we go. Three minutes till Dead Man starts. I've got my screen completely clear. This is going to be covered in clients in three minutes. And in 24 hours, my brain is going to be fried. Here we go. We are in. Yes, I want to lose all my fucking progress. Get me in there. Why is my screen black? <laughs> This is so unfair. All right, here we go. We're zooming. First step, as always, 25 agility, but I can't get into any other account right now. All my other accounts won't log in. This is a disaster. I need them for my plan. All right, we're getting close to 25 agility now. We are in on four accounts. These are the main four accounts I need to start with. Once I'm set up on these four accounts is when I'm going to get the other six going. Send them straight down to the sand crabs. A big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, War Thunder. Get ready for the ultimate adrenaline pumping experience in the world of vehicular combat. Introducing War Thunder, the game that redefines what it means to engage in epic battles across land, air, and sea. War Thunder boasts an unmatched arsenal of over 2,000 meticulously crafted tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships, making it the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. What sets War Thunder apart is its incredible attention to detail. Each vehicle is exquisitely modeled down to its individual components, offering an astonishingly immersive combat experience. The best part? You can experience War Thunder's heart-pounding action for free. Whether you're a PC enthusiast, an Xbox Series S or S owner, a PlayStation 5 player, or even on the previous console generations, the battlefield is open to all. Don't miss your chance to dive into the most immersive, action-packed vehicle combat game ever created. If you're registering on PC, there's a large free bonus pack if you use my link in the description, including multiple premium vehicles, premium account boosters, and much more. Join the ranks of millions of players already battling it out in War Thunder by using my link in the description. Oh, don't kill me. Don't. I've just been fucking one banged by an ant. I've been one banged by an ant. Oh my God, this is a disaster. All right, 25 Agi on the main account. That means we're gonna start the Grand Tree right now. Where's Kingdom Road? Hey, there's my boy Lockie. He's doing the same thing. Oh, this is so fucked up. It says I've already claimed my reward from this level because I played Dead Man Mode on this account before. Wait. No, never mind. Just ignore me. Next step in the master plan, start Waterfall Quest. All XP from quests in Dead Man Mode Apocalypse is uh, boosted by 10x in the first round. So uh, we're going to go get 10x Waterfall XP. It's going to be crazy. Fuck! Oh my god, I've just died again, bro. This dragon account is not it. I have to run back again, bro. Finishing up the Trinome Stronghold here. And I've just died again. Oh my god, this just keeps happening. We go from 1 to 50. One attack. Oh my god, that's insane. We do Monk's Friend over here on the ult for a couple of lore runes. Eight lore runes, in fact. That's going to be a few teleports around the game. Trading our ult account for runes after we do this part of the waterfall quest. Smart, because then you don't have to drop them and people can't pick them up. I'm all over this shit. I wish I could say I came up with this plan, but it was actually my friend Lockie. So shout out motherfucking Lockie, bro. All right, there's going to be waterfall quest. Let's see what it gets us up to. Oh my god. 41 combo off the bat. Love to see that. And we got a couple gold bars from this as well, which we're going to be using for Monkey Madness. So come on, smart moves. Now I'm no mathematician, but I'm fairly certain I can get absolutely just one banged in this quest. I'm very scared. I'm going to put my run energy on and pray for the best. Here we go. Okay, well, there's the one that I need to attack. It's hit me a seven. I'm alive. Thank God. Uh, but I can die down here to another player. Hopefully no one is down here PKing. So right now I have one account going up to the Green Dragons. I have another account at the GE waiting to trade my main when it's done with this quest. And I have one account down at Sand Crabs. As soon as I finish this quest, I go up to the next bracket and then I'll get the other six accounts down at Sand Crabs. All right, this is the Grand Tree done. This is going to get us up to like 65 attack or something. I can see it. I can see it now. 64 attack, 47 combat. Okay, now we need to take the, uh, the Spirit Tree to the Grand Exchange because... We are going to go up combat brackets now. Going to get my 12 dragon bone star for fire and 18k off my ult that was at the GE. And then we need to go do the museum. Because we automatically complete the 
Shield of Arav. We can speak to Historian Minas here, and he's going to give us a an XP lamp. We're going to go ahead and use that XP lamp in hit points, and that should get us a 51 combat. Oh my god, we're only 49 combat. Uh, what do I do? I need to go get some defense levels real quick. All right, there we go. 51 combat. That means I can move up, but I'm going to walk to the Ferox Enclave first because I have my bones that I want to use on the Chaos Altar. That's why I'm going up because I get my, um, my protection. And we're going to use them on the Chaos Altar. Okay, swapping into the 51 combat. There's literally seven people in this combat bracket right now. So I think we're pretty good at the moment. We're going to be zooming through. I got my quest lamp in my inventory and I'm going to be completing the elf storyline. Let's get it. All right, time to go up to the Ferox Enclave. Get our run energy back and uh, also go to the Chaos Altar. Get 43 prayer. That's the first plan. All right, 12 bones here at the Chaos Altar. Let's see if we get lucky. Oh, we've been really unlucky so far. Damn. Okay, it's coming back. It's coming back. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it was exactly the bone. It was exactly the last bone. That's so lucky. All right, time to go get myself some monks robes, but it's also time to start adding in some extra accounts. We are currently just sat here at the sand crabs and all the accounts so we can start bringing in more. I want to get up to 10 eventually. I have 48 minutes of protection to finish Monkey Madness 1 and that's going to take me straight up to the next bracket which gives me another one hour of protection and in that we're going to choose Desert Treasure and then do Holy Grail, a couple of other quests and we'll be ready to start Slayer pretty soon after that. That's 51 combat on Snake Upton. So we're going to have to go ahead and hop up to the next dead man world. And this one's just going to stay at Stan Crabs until the 70 bracket. So then we have a big plan. This is where the, uh, the quest is going to get tough. I'm level not much right now. And uh, I don't have much food. And I have to run through the entire Monkey Madness 2 tunnel. I think I'm going to need some more cakes on an alt. Okay, I just made it all the way through there with like one cake. So <laughs> I think we're good on food, actually. I'm just underestimating my own skills. If you die a PVM death in dead man mode, you uh, don't get a starter pack when you respawn. However, if you die to another player, you do get a starter pack. So I need to find this account is about to die. Has 11 hit points left. Never mind. It has PvP protection. I was going to be real smart and kill myself for some tuna. Man, now I just look stupid. Bro, hit! There we go. That's got to be it, right? Okay, nice. Now we get out of here. We're absolutely done with Monkey Madness 1. Huge. And there we go. Now I get a starter pack on my other account and I can get free tuna. We just head back. The suicide crab method, I call this one. Right, Monkey Madness officially done. Before we, uh, before we go ahead and move up to the next bracket, which we will immediately after we claim this XP reward, I need to go buy uh, some cheese for the next one and I need to go do the Varrock Museum as well. And then we can just immediately move up. These are all in safe zones, so it doesn't matter that we have no protection. Let's zoom. All right, that is the museum done. That's gonna give us a nice little boost in Slayer. There we go, 27 Slayer already. Now we just have to go buy some cheese and then go get this combat XP and we're up into the next Jack Daniels, that's a great name. All right, time for the biggest dopamine hit of the entire tournament. This is gonna be fucking insane. Focus on strength and stamina. Boom, look at that. And we're already at 78 combat. That is insane. And that means we can go up to the next world. All right, up we go. There's already three people in this world. Damn. All right, one of them's my homie Loki though, so we're good there. But time to do the Holy Grail. We're going to choose Desert Treasure in this second one because it's between Desert Treasure or Monkey Madness 2. And most of the Monkey Madness quest line is already done anyway. And we just need to instantly unlock Ancient. So let's do it. Get Holy Grail done. And that's going to give us... Why are these ruse keep going on? Holy Grail is going to give us some insane prayer XP. And then straight afterwards, we can do King's Ransom. I think in the next bracket and then we're going to be able to do the night waves training ground for some extra xp little update on the rest of the accounts we've got five going at the moment after i do holy grail we'll be going straight to the warriors guild uh with full myth and getting our defender and that's when i'll get the rest of the accounts in no way bro all right we're just not doing this quest fuck that third account made it to the second bracket we're gonna go ahead and jump up now but also there has been a breach i don't think i'm gonna be quite powerful enough yet to attack the breach so i'm not going to waste my time and going but a few of the boys are going i'm going to watch it in discord i'm excited i've changed my mind i'm going 15 players here get loot and the boys like it, it looks easy i'm right i'm coming in hot with excalibur boys let's fucking do this shit all right here we go coming in hot boys the boys are currently killing a cave abomination and like i'm pretty sure if i just get like a tiny little bit of damage off on this thing i win right a dragon parallax! Oh my god, this was definitely worth it. Giga Darok, bro! Oh my god! 
All right, well, that was fucking successful. Look at all the money we have right now. Third account moving up brackets. Just got a supply drop on the alt of super strength potions, which is fucking huge. That means I can just trade all my alt super strengths right now, and I'm gonna be training potted. All right, this is gonna be holy grail completed. Let's have a look at the prayer XP. <laughs> up to 57 okay now we're just gonna go straight to the warriors guild here we have the stats able to uh get in there and we're just one item away from being able to kill myth sets i already have a plate body and a full helm i just need to go through see louis legs over here and get my mithril plate legs hopefully they're in stock if they are we're good and we can go straight to the warriors guild bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt and dick's your cousin they're in stock let's go i'm actually should I just hop? No, fuck, I'm not gonna waste time. All right, there is actually one last thing we need to do. I've gotta go buy a fucking dragon scimitar. We can't be killing these things with Excalibur. Trading Daga, getting ourselves a dragon scimitar, 106,000 coins, and then being very, very quick about this and getting up. Pick myself up some prey potions and get to the Warriors Guild. It's a safe zone in this dead man mode, which is fucking crazy, but it uh, means we're just gonna get our dragon defender for free. I don't even have to concentrate. Time to get 10 accounts going. I put everything in my fucking deposit box before I came here. And there's no fucking deposit box here in the Warriors Guild. You love to see that. Okay, main game, I would normally get around uh, 2250 for all of the defenders, but it is 4x the rate here in, um, in dead man mode. So I'm just going to get around 450, I reckon, especially with the increased DPS from the sigils. I don't know. We'll see how we go. <laughs> First fucking kill bronze defender. You gotta be kidding me. Let's go. Let's keep this RNG up. And there she is, the dragon defender. Dragon defender, the classic uh, the classic grind. And we are four, five combat levels off getting to the next bracket. But in the meantime, we might as well just do what we're gonna do in the next bracket anyway, and that is start Slayer. I have quite a bit of money in here. What I'm gonna do is head to the Grand Exchange. I'm gonna buy a few dragon bones for my other account, which is about to be coming back up. This is what it looks like on my screen right now, guys. Yeah, like <laughs> there's just a lot going on. I don't wanna say too, too much, but it's all happening here. All right, here we go. First Neve Slayer task. Let's pray it's a good one. I don't have high hopes though. Come on, no iron dragons or something. Just give me fire giants. Okay, yeah. A combat achievement. Okay, and we're gonna start getting supply drops from these bad boys as well. They're not level uh, 100, but I mean, still, we're gonna get some nice supply drops. Yo, just picked up a sigil of precision. I don't know what this one does, but let's have a look. 50% more accuracy in all styles against monsters. Done. We're gonna go pump that shit on right now. Oh. Just picked up a sigil of the alchemaniac on one of the alt accounts. This one's actually probably worth a decent amount, but this account is a little while off going up to the next bracket, so... I mean, hopefully we just hold on to it. I might go a tune in at a bank. <laughs> I just got 50 Slayer from my first Slayer task, bro. I fucking love dead man mode. I'm going to be going up brackets very soon, which means I'm going to go from getting 15 times combat XP to getting 20 times combat XP, I think. Oh, never mind. It's just 15 nonstop. So it doesn't matter if I go up or not, but I am going to go up because I don't think anyone's even in the world. Yeah, I'll be the first person in the world for sure. If you want to see me torture myself with the rest of the Dead Man season on 10 accounts at once, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, this is going to be the first account going up to the Monkey Madness 2 tunnels which is where we're going to be making all of our money. They are nerfed 50% on, uh, on drops, but they're still going to give some amazing drops. And there's such an easy escape there. There's a, uh, a nice little spot you can sit in where people can't attack you. So it's a nice spot to sit in, just AFK train. And as you train up, you, you're going to go up combat brackets as well. But we just need to bury a couple of bones here, get five prayer. And then as we're going to go up, I'm also going to grab some loot off one of my other accounts to take up brackets with me. All right, there we go, 71 combat. Now, this is where things are gonna get, like I've, I've just planned this out so perfectly. I've got an account coming up from the lower bracket. It's gonna log in right here. I'm gonna stand underneath it. It's gonna drop 60K coins. We're gonna pick it up. It's gonna drop some dragon bones. I'm gonna pick those up and then I'm gonna hop worlds. <laughs> Let's go, dude. And this is where things get juicy. Let's rub that quest lamp and we're gonna do full completion of the gnome storyline. Let's get up to Varrock. There we go. We are 91 combat. It's time to move up a combat bracket. And there is something that I'm gonna do straight off cooldown, use all of my uh, protection. And that is to do a Barrows run because with a recent update, you can now get uh, some amount of prayer XP from going and doing a Barrows run, which is unreal because 
it's 15 times on this, so I could probably get up to like 60 something. And in even crazier news, I am at the Monkey Madness Tunnels on one of my alts already. So we are getting some juice drops. Let's fucking go. And it is official. I am the first person on the 91 combat bracket in the Australian world. There might be someone on a, like a different world. I don't know, but I'm the only person on this RuneScape server right now. How fucking crazy is that? And to start out in this one, we are going to go ahead and partially complete the desert storyline up to Beneath Cursed Sand. And that gives us the ability to do TOA if we want to go do it. I don't think I'd be able to do one with one range, but you know, there's always that opportunity. Just picked up my first sigil drop from the monkeys and it is a sigil of prosperity, which is fucking insane. That means I've got 20% extra chance of hitting the dead man loot table, which is exactly what I'm trying to hit while I'm at these monkeys. This is <laughs> massive. The first chest of the dead man tournament. Just the strange icon, nothing else exciting. Uh, now I need to go back out up the ladder because I have to go give the guy... <gasps> Do I have to walk here again? Please tell me I don't. All right, I talk to the strange old man here and he's going to give me 300,000 or something prayer XP. Something along those lines. 20,000 prayer XP. That gets me up to 66. Huge. That is exactly what you want to see. And now we just go back to Slayer. Going to pick myself up some climbing boots here. Um, they're just fucking free strength bonus. And then I'm going to quickly hit up Lumbridge and grab myself some adamant gloves as well. Uh, I'm going to go with adamant because they're... I'll probably go with rune actually. I can get dragon right now, but it's not really worth it for... Um, the price. And there we go, rune gloves. We've gone from 82 melee strength to 92. That's huge, that's massive. All right, Slayer Task Roulette again. Um, it's pretty common to get a bad task here in Dead Man mode. It's not good, but considering the fact that I'm the only person in this world, has anyone joined me yet? No, I'm still the only person in this world. I'm feeling pretty confident. It's all good, doesn't matter what we get. It does matter what we get. I changed my mind. It definitely does matter what we get. We absolutely cannot do Iron Dragons. I mean, no, we can't do Iron Dragons. I mean, I mean, we probably could do Iron Dragons now that I think about it. See if we can get some anti, uh, anti fire potions. Yeah, these dragons are most definitely a skip. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, so have a sniff of this uh, skip task. One would be cow fights, unironically here. What was it? Zombies. Uh, where the fuck do I kill them? Very unfortunate here. Uh, did not manage to pick up another sigil. So I am going to have to sell that prosperity off because I don't have any money to buy any more prayer potions. And it's better off being here with 30% less chance of a drop than uh, not being here at all. So going to sell that prosperity off, buy a bunch of prayer potions, and I'll probably buy a couple of things to put inside the deposit box because... I do not want to die with all of that wealth. All right, time to get lucky on another Slayer task. It's like fire giants or blood valves or something's fucking huge. Hellhounds is good as well. Raider demons isn't too bad. <laughs> Bro, just fucking end it. What the fuck? Time to get myself another Slayer task. Experience I'm currently watching Did a Bit as a video. Play the fucking servers have been out for seven hours and this motherfucker's already uploaded a video. Crazy. Black dragons. I mean, that's a decent task. This is a little skip task. We'll go kill some baby black dragons. Huge moves. The second ult is now moving up into the next combat bracket. So we'll just go ahead and zoom straight up there. And then I'll run up to the GE, trade my other ult for some dragon bones. And we'll get that one into monkey matters through tunnels as well. And we're going to be fucking so rich, bro. It's going to be insane. Black demon seems like a bad one, but it's actually a really, really, really good one. Yo, well lucky. far behind. Yo. John just messaged me and said he spawned a rev boss this world. Do you want to come? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I might be able to say I have like fucking nothing, hey? So it might fell for 20k or something. I'd be happy to get oh, that. Let's go. Right. Lighted Karanga ones. One miller. Let's go. Oh. Picked up a sigil of fortification here. This uh, gives you stab, slash, crush, and range defense plus 50 in all. Uh, it's not very useful for like, it's useful for like defending against attackers, I guess, but not very useful for my slaying. So I probably won't have it on. Up to 60 slayer already, about to get 80 strength. Absolutely zooming through this black demon's task. 125 left. There's 80 strength, 94 combat. We need to get 111 combat for the next bracket. Oh, a tier five, fuck yeah. Nice. Oh. Sigil of the formidable fighter. This looks like a tier one. So I don't know how good it will be, but let's have a sniff. Yeah, it's a tier one. This is actually a really good fucking sigil. I kind of want to put it on for Slayer. 20% chance that your next hit will do plus five damage. That's massive. I'm, I'm probably going to put this on. All right, there is the black demons done. I actually had to log out on some of my alts. 
uh, because I needed to one to flick during the end of that one. But we'll jump back on them very, very shortly. I'm just going to quickly grab another task and then we'll hook back in. And we're going to have one, two, three, four, five accounts at the Monkey Madness 2 tunnels in just a moment, which is fucking crazy. Don't troll me, Neve. I'm begging. Blood Vault, that's so huge. Oh, fuck yeah. That's massive. Let me go get rid of this tier five as well. And we're going to sell off this sigil of fortification and activate this formidable fighter because we are going to be absolute juice and XP very soon. Go ahead and use the tier five here. Yes, sell all my tier fives. And then we get the rewards. Let's have a look at the rewards, what we can buy. On a mall handles, magic short room pouch. No, what's that? One million points. Oh shit. Okay. Maybe not just yet on that one. Looting bag. I think you can only use looting bag in the wilderness regardless of the fact that it's dead man mode but i guess we just buy a bunch of brews and restores yeah well let's just buy a bunch of brews and we can get 20 of these and they're going for more than 10k a piece so we're absolutely schlaf yeah 303k there for that tier 5 and then i'm going to go ahead and put this sigil of fortification in for 200k it was going for so we should get 500k from that oh my god very nice 500k and then let's go ahead and get our sigil of the food master out we don't want that bad boy anymore and attuned the uh, the formidable fighter oh we are absolutely gassed up and i have 500,000 gp that i need to get rid of somehow i've changed my mind guys we absolutely need this sigil of devotion like it's so important for slayer i'm gonna chuck it in for five oh, fuck it we go 600k I, I i need this sigil of devotion it just makes the slayer so worth it Oh my days. Well, we're just leaving the offer in. Like, I have to have it. Hey, combat task completed. Killing a fucking blood belt. Nice. Holy shit. I just sold a Sigil of the Porcupine for 500k on an alt. That is crazy. All right, Sigil of Devotion bought 600k. I probably could have got it for less, but you know what? I just wanted that. I wanted to get that piece. Um, and then for our, our other Sigils while we're doing Slayer, if we're on a high defense task, we'll use the Feral Fighter. If we're not, we'll use the other one because the other one gives more damage. That one gives more accuracy, but every task is gonna have this bad boy. And now we're gonna get a heap of prayer levels. And boom, 1000 prayer XP every time I kill a blood valve. So I'm gonna get 168,000 prayer XP just from this one task. This is why I had to have this sigil before I absolutely kicked in this layer. Dude, the combo of the formidable fighter and the feral fighter is absolutely insane. Sometimes I get two tick attack speed. Sometimes my next hit is guaranteed plus five damage. Like, come on, we're zooming. New breach has just gone up. I'm not going to go to this one because I'm actually so far ahead right now. I already have so much money. I don't need to. But once again, all the boys in Discord are going. The sigil of enhanced harvest. This is actually a good one that I'm going to want because I'm going for max. So... This is going to give me quintuple resources when woodcutting, fishing, and mining, and farming, which is insane. Five logs, five ores. Question is, does it give you the bonus XP for it? I guess we'll find out. So chopping down a regular tree will give you 250 XP. So if this does work, we should get 1,250 XP for a regular tree. Let's find out. Give me 1,250. Now I do want that sigil of enhanced harvest. However, um, we're in a dangerous zone right now. So I need to see if this goes inside the safety deposit box. If it doesn't, we're gonna have to sell it off and buy something that does go inside the safety deposit box because I don't wanna be losing that much wealth. Okay, that means we have to sell it and we have to buy some stuff from the GE to put inside the safety deposit box. Insta sold for a mil. Oh my days, I have a million GP. Yo, I didn't even unlock bigger and badder. I guess, I guess that's something for going up worlds, maybe? Superior creatures unlocked, but I'm fucking excited to see what juice I get from this. And I'm pretty sure you get a guaranteed roll on the dead man table, right? Oh my God, just die. 68 Slayer and a tier five. Okay, there we go. So you do get something. A 37 potato cactus as well. And there goes 70 prayer just from our sigil of devotion. It's such a huge, huge, huge upgrade for Slayer and Dead Man mode. Uh, I mean, it's just, it'll get us probably 90 prayer by the time we're done with Slayer. All right, that is Blood Veld's done. Let's grab another one. This is one more before we start receiving points. Don't fuck me, Neve. Cal fight. Um, that's not good. But fuck it, we ball. Also have five accounts of the monkeys now, which is kind of massive. All right, took out the Cal fights and survived. Let's get out of here. All right, 12 points. Come on, Neve. Aberrant Spectres. Okay, that means I need to buy a uh, nose peg. 200 coins. Take the mix. And another combat task. Very nice. Been in the Monkey Madness 2 tunnels for a while now. I managed to pick up the Sigil of the Infernal Chef, which is apparently going for absolutely 
absolute biscuits right now. So let's have a sniff. Yep, there we go. 850k, baby. That's huge money. Another task buys the dust. 24 points. So one more task and we are able to skip, which is like just huge. All right, being able to skip one task is just, it's a lifesaver in dead man modes. So hopefully this one is not one that makes me want to punch myself in the head. A 71 Slayer, which means we can kill Kurask. Hopefully we don't get those either, because that's a toughie. That one's a, that one's a fucking death. Come on, Greater Demons. Black Demons, we take it. Let's fucking go, baby. All right, we're on. And ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful time to be alive. Once again, a big thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video, guys. Make sure you check out that link in the description. If you play on PC, you can get yourself a large starter pack when you sign up. So check out that link in the description. Thanks again to War Thunder. We're all set up on all nine accounts here in the Monkey Madness 2 tunnels. Right behind us is a one by one square. So if anyone comes to attack me, I just slash this web and I'm safe. Simple as that. And I can just sit here farming emblems in tier fives for the rest of my day. All right, that is the black demons done. I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself another task and we are gonna finish up day one by putting in an offer for a black mask. And once we get that black mask, we are gonna be zooming. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, 1084K. I'm gonna chuck a black mask offer in and sit and pray now. In the meantime, I'm gonna go do some splash and get my mage up just in case anyone decides to attack me anytime soon. Need that extra mage defense. So we'll be doing that while I edit this video and I'll catch you guys for day two. See you soon. Can't catch you